Hello, my name is Eric Smith, and this is an excerpt from my pet project, Stories from Cuba. In the village of Sheep Smell, between the mountain ranges near Ball Castle and Hogs Woods, a wizard named Kenneth Salamand was heading to the kitchen to get his pregnant wife, Catherine, a late night snack. When he got to the kitchen, he seen a light shining out in the barn. He teleported to just outside the barn and crept closer to listen for intruders. Kenneth heard whispering. I found it, said a voice of what sounded to be a prepubescent boy. Good master, said a deep voice. Kenneth crept closer and tripped over a shovel. What was that, Sploso? The boy asked abruptly. Before Kenneth could do more than sputter, he was frozen in place by magic. A young blonde boy appeared with a massive centaur. The boy was holding a wand, which was held aloft in his left hand. Oh, look, Sploso, the boy said to the centaur. We have a new friend. The boy paused for a second, in which Kenneth could feel his mind being penetrated. Kenneth's wife is upstairs, pregnant in arms, Sploso. You stay here, and I'll take her, too. Inside Kenneth's head, he heard the boy's voice introduce himself and take control. Jack then went upstairs, while Kenneth and Sploso hung around in the barn. Jack returned a few minutes later, levitating an unconscious Catherine and holding two new wands. Kenneth, you shall teleport us to our safe house. The safe house, it turned out, was a cabin in the winter woods. The interior had been magically modified by Jack to accommodate Sploso's large body.